Hello everybody and welcome back. In the last episode we finished the potato harvest. We got £20,000 for that, for that job. And we also received just under £14,000 for the strawberries that we sold. So we made a good amount of money on the last time around. Now, a few updates. The chickens aren't making much eggs. This is a full month later now. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and purchased a whole bunch more chickens and they were delivered uh, just uh, a few days ago so we've got 500 chickens instead of 100 so we've 5x the amount of chickens that we have another thing to note is that we're having some uh, weed issues with the wheat fields all three of the fields have weeds in them so we're going to have to look at a solution for that whether that be spraying or a tool that we can pull behind the tractor uh, but we'll come to that soon enough over the winter i plan to completely redevelop the top end of this yard so all of these sheds that you can see up here past the van they will be going this shed on this side and this brick shed where the dog is is going to be removed as is this shed here and we'll get rid of any of the other bits and bobs we don't need. I'm going to keep this section in here because it can it can be quite handy. But I will be getting rid of these sheds here and we'll be putting in a big bit of storage for all of the equipment along here because at the moment it's kind of just stuffed anywhere that I can find a spot for it. And uh, these sheds are just a bit too small for what I'm looking for. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get the money together to do that and uh, hopefully it won't mean that we'll have to just dump everything wherever I can find a spot for it. Well then folks, after what was a fairly long drive in this piece of machinery, we have arrived at uh, a little part of Gloucestershire. I've got three fields that need sprayed up here, a huge contract worth over £100,000, but obviously we'll need to take some of the costs out of that. So we are here at the first of three fields, and as you can see, they're actually humongous in size. So I've got this one here, and right across the road here is one other one. Just watch out for traffic on this road here. But there is another field, and it looks like there's some deer in there. Don't want to scare them away just yet. But yeah, there's uh, another big field, and then just off in the distance over yonder is another big field that needs uh, needs some fertilizer spreaded on it so we're going to get that done that should take us a good few hours just to make sure that the fields are spread properly and uh, that'll bring in quite a fair amount of money for us for that yard rebuild that we're going to do <laughs> didn't take too long at all. It was about an hour and a half altogether to get through the three fields that we had to fertilize. Even though they're quite big fields, this thing spreads quite wide and does hold quite a lot of fertilizer. There was only one stop to refill and uh, we are now finished with those three fields. An easy hundred grand for us to uh, go towards that, that yard build. So now that that's done, we've got the, the long drive back to Banwell now. 
and uh, we'll need to get started with weed spraying or something. I'll need to pop down to the store and uh, see what uh, effective machinery they have down there that will uh, allow us to get that uh, dealt with. Home sweet home, we're back at the yard and we've still got plenty of time left in the day to get that weeding done. And talking about that weeding, I called ahead on the way over here to the store and they have got something set aside for me. I don't want to do the spraying method because I'd rather not put more chemicals onto the wheat. So I have got a weeder that uh, just goes in between the rows and gets rid of the weeds. So we need to go pick that up. Um, where did I put this guy? I kept this back here, didn't I? This is why we need the yard to be uh, redesigned and get the big sheds in up, up here so I've got everything organised. So after that last uh, little trip out there, a little trip out to do the fertilising, we are now up to a grand total in the bank of £122,000. So the, yeah, that's a, a good bit of money for us to get started with it. Where did we go with this again? I'm getting myself all confused. Oh, Charlie, get off the tractor, Jesus. Almost run him over there, he just jumped up. We need to get a better home for him as well. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna drop this <laughs> drop this in here and uh, we'll head down to the store and grab that weeder. Right, there's Ben away. Oh, he's away to get a contract done. He's grabbed the cultivator and he's away off doing that while we head down to the shop with the fence because the piece of equipment we're grabbing is quite big. And I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, I did put the weight on the front here. Yeah, it's already on. That's fine. So we'll go pick that up and see exactly which piece of equipment the guys have uh, put out for me to take. You know, on the drive down here, I just realised how filthy this tractor is. I'm going to uh, need to give it a clean and uh, get it back to its nice shiny green self. But uh, let's leave that for later, shall we? But there's a bit of equipment that we're picking up, the weeder over there. Once this guy gets out of the way, we'll get that hooked up to the back. There we go, he's on his way around. We're just going to back up into this now. It's quite a big, it's huge. Right, that should be close enough there. Make sure these hoses are connected, there we go. We need to lift it up now. And I think it's balancing, balancing quite fine with uh, the weight on the front. Okay, let's head back to the farm. So then, while Ben gets on doing a cracking job with the cultivating up on that small field, we're going to give this piece of equipment a good try. Uh, just trying to think of the best way in here without damaging all of the crop. I think I'll start at the top here and start working my way around. That might be the best idea. Alright, let's unfold this and see just how big it goes out. I've been told it's 12 meters, so that's quite a quite a wide implement. Yeah, that's quite the size. That should do the job nicely. Right, let's get in here and see just how well it performs. So we'll need to drop it onto the ground and it should just start weeding. It doesn't have to be turned on, there's no power needed for this bit of equipment. It just pulls all the weeds out as you drive along. And that seems to be doing an excellent job. Very, very good indeed. Okay, let's get through these fields. There's three of them to do and we need to get the weeds gone.
Well, we are almost done here in the last of these three wheat fields. I'm loving this piece of equipment. And the reason I'm liking it so much is because it's not just killing off the weeds and leaving them there in the ground like spraying wood. It's actually just ripping them from the ground completely, which is fantastic. So, I think I've got, only got this last little bit here, and that'll be it done. I've got word as well from Ben that he's finished that contract. There's another £1,800 in the bank, minus his fee, of course. Um, but yeah, we're doing really well. We're up to about 124 and a bit grand in the bank. So yeah, we're getting close to that magic amount of money. We needed about 150,000 to do the works up in the yard. So we have got a little bit more money to make, but not too much. And I'm sure that over the next few days, we will get that money in the bank. We are into November and the trees have turned that lovely golden brown colour. I really love this time of the year. Although what I don't like is that there's not very much in the way of contracts for us to do, which is really setting us back, getting enough money together to do the yard rebuild over winter. But I have got a job that I need to go to just now. The stables needs some straw delivered. And they don't have any way of getting the straw from the animal dealer to the stables. So we're going to go and take the straw to them. So we need to grab the telehandler and head up to the animal dealer. This is the animal dealer here. And the straw bales that we need to pick up are just on the left there. I do need to go in and just sign a bit of paperwork for those. So we'll just park this here for now. Let's go and get that paperwork signed. Paperwork has been signed, so we're all right now to just grab these straw bales. The stables is actually just along the road a little bit. It's not far at all, so it shouldn't take long for us to deliver this. So we'll just bring the bale fork down and position ourselves just right. That should be fine there. Oh, we're not quite in. Let's go a little bit higher pushing against the fence here. That should be fine. Let's give a little wiggle and straighten them out. There we are. Excellent. Let's get ourselves down to the stables. That was a very, very short drive up to the stables from the animal dealer with the straw. Just need to drop them off at the side and the, the, the people that have their horses in there can do whatever they want with this. Whatever it is they need to do. And uh, that was quite easy getting in there might be a bit more difficult with a trailer, so just using the telehandler was probably the best option there. One straw delivery done. Just need to drop them here. I'll leave them under cover, just in case it rains. But uh, yeah, they should be fine just here. Excellent. One little job done. We don't get much money for that, but keeps us busy while the uh, work is really slow. Right, let's head back to the farm. We've got some good news about the chickens. We have got another 100 chickens. That takes our total to 600, and that's because the chickens have given birth to some chicks. We've been trying to increase the number of chickens we've got without spending money. So that is uh, fantastic that we've got more chickens and we'll keep the breeding process going um, as time goes on. And because we've got so many chickens now, we have actually got a decent amount of eggs. We've got three and a bit pallets and the price of eggs just now in November is actually quite high. So the farmer's market are needing eggs. So we're going to take these three pallets of eggs up to the farmer's market. And uh, that will mean we'll get some decent money from those. So let's get this loaded up with those eggs. Egg delivery is done. And we got an incredible amount of money for all those eggs. 
That's an extra £19,400. So it looks like eggs are actually very, very profitable indeed. So I'm going to be upping the amount of eggs that we are going to be producing for sure in the coming months. But we'll uh, make sure to do that, that build in the yard first. But for just three pallets sold in November, 19.4k. Wow, that's incredible. Well, I've had a last minute call from Jack. He's gone ahead and ploughed up one of his fields here, the one on the right, and he's asked us if we can come up and seed. So he wants linseed in here. So that's what we're going to do for him today. We'll get a nice little bit of money for this. And uh, it's not that big a field at all. So let's get cracking on with this and uh, hopefully it won't take us too long. <laughs> field of linseed is going to look lovely when it's done right alongside the road as people were coming into Banwell they'll get the lovely purplish colour that the linseed has when it's in full flower which will be in the spring summer time of next year I've never actually planted linseed before so it might be one of the products that we put into one of our fields in the future but we'll concentrate on our wheat harvests for now make sure we get all that lovely chicken egg monies we're just coming around now to finish off this headland just to run up the, the hedge line here and then that'll be us done okay Jack thanks very much I'll catch you later on well then folks that job's finished and we got seven thousand pounds for the pleasure of putting the seed into the ground for for Jack we're going to head back to the farm now. We've got in the bank a grand total of £150,000 plus change, which is the amount of money that we need for the yard rebuild. So, we are ready to rock and roll, and I'm still looking forward to it. If you enjoyed this video, you can watch the rest of the series by clicking the playlist on your screen. And remember to subscribe for future videos. Bye for now.